Sheikh Wissam Asadi from Iraq's community police is following up a case of domestic violence in the capital Baghdad. We are on our way to Sadr city to visit families that suffered from domestic violence. Do you copy? According to police, there's been a 20 percent increase in domestic violence since the start of the coronavirus pandemic. Sadr city is one of Baghdad's poorest neighborhoods and is said to be among the worst affected. Doha Sabah has been married for 18 years. She says her husband began beating her last year. There are problems with the house. When it rains, it gets flooded. We don't have an income. The kids need to go to school and I cannot afford it. Whenever I talk to him about the issue, he beats me and the kids. Doha called the community police, which is part of the Ministry of Interior, to intervene. It reached the point where they were going to divorce and the family would break up. We intervene in any issues to unite the family to prevent the breakup of families, which may lead to tribal conflicts. To solve the case, the unit worked closely with local tribes. The community police claims to have a 90 percent success rate in resolving domestic abuse cases. But critics say the unit reinforces conservative social norms, prioritizing reconciliation over victims' rights. Lawyers say many women drop cases against partners because of lack of money and social pressure. The social values and customs consider it shameful for the woman to file a complaint against her husband or brother. Even if she did file a case, as soon as her family hears about it, she will drop it. And victims often have nowhere to go anyway. There's one government-run shelter in Baghdad, but it only provides accommodation on a judge's order. Some women seeking urgent refuge turn to rights groups that run underground operations. This woman endured her husband's abuse for more than 20 years. We have tribal rules. If the woman left her husband's house or her parents' house, she will be killed. The tipping point was when he began to sexually harass their daughters. One night, they crept out of their home and came to this shelter. The law doesn't protect me. Maybe they will find my location. I'm scared to sleep at night. I'm afraid of the tribes. Although these shelters offer a lifeline to women escaping abuse, they have to operate in secret because they're illegal under Iraqi law. Last year, the government filed a lawsuit against the group that runs it, accusing it of breaking up families. The cabinet demanded to dissolve the organization. We managed through repeated sessions to get the law case dismissed. But the government appealed, and now we are waiting to find a solution. The prime minister's office didn't respond to repeated requests for comment. A domestic violence law that would legalize these shelters has been stalled in parliament for years amid widespread political opposition. Until such a law is passed, rights groups say, Iraqi women will struggle to escape abuse at home. Simona Fultin, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.